Before we start, make sure you're subscribed to Anything Explained so you never miss simple breakdowns of complex topics. Today we're taking apart one of the most famous casino games ever made and explaining the real odds behind every single roulette bet. And by the end, you'll understand why the wheel looks so innocent, but the math behind it is far from friendly. Let's begin with the basics. American Roulette has 38 pockets, the numbers 1 through 36, plus the green zero and the green double zero. Those two green pockets are tiny, but they control almost everything that happens in the game. Every win, every loss, and every so-called strategy quietly depends on them. If you remove the zero and double zero, the entire game would flip from favoring the casino to favoring the player. That's why they're there. Now picture the wheel spinning and the ball bouncing around. Every number at the instant the ball drops has exactly the same chance of being hit. No number is due, no number is hot, no number owes anybody anything. With 38 pockets on the wheel, the probability of hitting any single number is 1 out of 38. That's about 2.6%. And that brings us to the most direct bet in roulette, the straight up bet, where you bet on one exact number. The payout for this is 35 to 1. That sounds generous until you compare it to your actual odds. If the payout was 37 to 1, it would be fair. But it isn't. That difference is where the casino makes money. If you bet on two numbers at once, called a split bet, your chances double to 2 out of 38, but the payout shifts to 17 to 1. Again sounds big, but it's not quite big enough to match the real odds. That gap is the casino edge, and the same pattern happens again and again. A three-number bet has a 7.89% chance of winning, a 4-number bet has a 10.53% chance. A 6-number bet sits at about 15.8%. But no matter which of these inside bets you choose, the house edge stays almost perfectly the same. It's 5.26%. That means for every $100 bet over time, the casino expects to keep a little over $5. Not right away, not every spin. But across thousands of spins, the math wins. Now let's move to the outside bets the ones that look safer and more predictable because they cover much larger portions of the wheel. These are bets like red or black, odd or even, and low or high numbers. These are the bets players think give them an even chance, a 50-50 coin flip, but they don't. And the reason is, again, the zero and double zero. Red covers 18 numbers, black covers 18 numbers, odd, and even each cover 18 numbers. But the zero and double zero are neither red nor black, neither odd nor even. So your real chance of winning an even money bet is not 50%. It's 18 wins out of 38 possible outcomes, 47.37%. Close, but not close enough. And since the payout is one to one, that same house edge of 5.26% appears again. No matter how safe these bets feel, the math behind them is identical to the riskier inside bets. Dozens are next. These bets cover 12 numbers at once, like 1 to 12, 13 to 24, or 25 to 36. You have a 31.58% chance to win them. A payout of 2 to 1 might seem fair, but it still falls just short of the mathematical odds. And again, the house edge lands at the exact same 5.26%. So, at this point, you might be wondering, if all these bets have the same house edge, is there any bet that's actually better or worse? So, at this point, you might be wondering, if all these bets have the same house edge, is there any bet that's actually better or worse? Surprisingly, yes. There is one bet on the entire American roulette table that is uniquely bad. It's called the top line bet, covering five numbers, 0, double zero, 1, 2, and 3. This bet has a 13.16% chance of winning, but only pays 6 to 1. The result isn't a normal house edge. It's a brutal one, 7.89%. This is the single worst bet you can make in roulette. Casinos know this, and seasoned players avoid it instinctively. If the rest of the game is tilted in the casino's favor, this bet is practically sliding downhill. We've covered inside bets, outside bets, dozens, columns, and the notorious top line, but here's the twist somewhere around 60% of people don't realize. Even though roulette gives you dozens of betting options that look completely different, almost all of them boil down to the exact same mathematical disadvantage. Changing your bet type doesn't change your odds of losing over time. The wheel doesn't care whether you're betting red or black, straight up or dozens, or even a combination of five different bets. The house edge stays the same, and that means every so-called system people swear by, like martingale doubling, hot number chasing, or bet spread patterns, can't overcome the structure of the wheel itself. Roulette isn't beat by prediction. It isn't beat by patterns. It isn't beat by memorizing spins or waiting for streaks. 
Roulette is pure probability, and the house always holds the advantage because of two green pockets placed exactly where they need to be. But that doesn't mean roulette can't be fun, it just means that understanding the odds gives you realistic expectations. Knowing the math lets you enjoy the game without believing in myths, magical systems, or lucky streaks that don't exist. When you know the true odds, every win feels more satisfying because you understand how unlikely it was, and every loss feels less personal because you understand it was built into the design. To recap everything simply, any single number has a 2.6% chance of hitting, two numbers doubles it, three, four, and six number bets increase it further, but the house edge stays the same, even money bets feel safe but aren't truly 50-50. Dozens and columns sit right in the middle, and the top line bet is the one you should avoid entirely if you care about your bankroll. That's the entire game of American Roulette broken down into simple, visual math. And now you can see why casinos can offer such big payouts and still sleep just fine at night. The wheel never cheats, but it also never loses in the long run. If you enjoyed this explanation, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Anything Explained, and let me know what topic you want broken down next. And if you want deeper strategy videos or game comparisons, just comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.